Hello YouTubers. We'd like to make a video of this mud motor and what is left of it. If you're riding down the road and you do not have it secured properly or if you use a heavy motor this will happen. Which it busted. Which caused the motor to fall off the boat. Which caused the tower part and the motor to crash. So this is made of a four inch hydraulic cylinder. And it has been welded with a two inch piece down and sealed up. As everybody's seen on my video that I made with it. The inspection cover to get to everything and I was using it and that happened so I had to redesign it. So I came up with this design. It uses a prop six and a quarter. Behind that is a seal. Behind that is a oil light bushing. This tube here is a hydraulic cylinder. Aluminum. This tube here is a hydraulic cylinder. That's where it was welded together to seal it up. Got a grease fit and to put grease on the oil light bearing. It still turns. It's made it to another tube that's been welded together. And welded together there. Now right there's how you put the bearing in it. It's got a bearing right here. Them two screws right there holds that bearing. A flat bearing. It's got to be curved to make it fit. You've got to have a machine shop to turn the tube into the bearing. The problem with this is is the swivel mechanism when this is put under a load it will not turn i have to redesign the turning mechanism you've got to be able to adjust it up and down on a boat you have to trim it out a lot of questions asked is how it is how it was driven it is chain driven there is a sprocket down there See the burn? There's a burn down there. Got to have the burn. Got to have the sprocket. Number 40 chain. That is a one and a half inch sprocket. The other one to the motor is a two inch sprocket. Which gives me a two to one ratio. Now right here is the main problem with this. So there is your homemade short tail. One day I might finish it. One day I might not. So, thanks for watching. Comment. Don't comment. Thanks for watching. Bye.